Hi there everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today in this video, we will learn about introduction to databases, characteristics of DBMS, and advantages of DBMS. Database definition. Data is nothing but unknown facts, which can be recorded, and also have an implicit meaning. For example, considering a student where his name, address, phone number etc. called as data. Database. It is a collection of related data having an implicit meaning. As we know, student name, USN, branch, phone number is a data. Collection of these data togetherly forms a database. Database management system. DBMS is a software which allows user to create and maintain database. Some well-known database management systems are MySQL, Oracle, etc. Database Management System DBMS is a general-purpose software system that facilitates users to create and maintain database. It not only facilitates creation and maintain database, also facilitates defining, constructing, manipulating, sharing among the users, protection for the database, and also security. Database along with DBMS togetherly called as database system. Have a look at the database system environment diagram. Here the application program and DBMS software interact together and we store the data into database. Where there are two storage media is present. One is metadata and other is stored database. In the metadata, we store the definition of database, structure and syntax of database. Where in stored database, we store the actual value or the data in the database. Now we will move to an example of database system. In database system we identify two things, one is data record, and second one is data elements. Consider a student database system. In this name, USN, branch, year are known as data record. And Rahul, Ramesh, 16, 21, CSC, 2020 are data elements. And consider one more example, that is course database system, where course, course code, branch are data record. And others are data elements. From both database system, we have some data records are common. In this branch data record is common between these two database system. So it indicates there might be a logical relationship between these two tables. Characteristics of database approaches. The main characteristics of database approach are first one, self-describing nature of database system. Second one is insulation between program, data, and data abstraction. Next is support multiple views of the data and sharing of data and multi-user transaction processing. First we see Self-describing nature of database system. It means ADBMS will be having a catalog. That is metadata. Where we store the description of the database. This metadata allows database to work with DBMS software. Second one is, insulation between program, data, and data abstraction. In traditional file processing system, Structure of file is embedded in the application program, for any small changes in the application program, entire, file must be replaced or modified. But in this, we have a feature called program data independence. That is DBMS will provide a logical view or structure of data to application separately in the catalog or metadata. So that for any changes, if we just change in the metadata, it will be reflected in the data, here no need to change entire program. Data abstraction. It is the process of hiding irrelevant details from the user. That means providing only essential information about the data and hiding the background details to the outside world. Next characteristics is, multiple views of the data. 
A good DBMS has facilities for defining multiple views. A view is a subset of database or virtual data derived from database. It is not explicitly stored. Since database has many users, each of whom may require a different perspective view of database. This is not only convenient for users, but also addresses issues of data access. Consider an example of bank database. Both the customers and bank uses the same database, but view for customer and bank is different. Next characteristics is sharing of data and multi-user transaction processing. As the name defines, multiple users can access the database. So it must include concurrency control mechanism, which means it manages simultaneous access to a database and prevents two users from editing the same record at the same time. This type of applications are called online transaction processing systems. Such applications are airline reservation system etc. It enforces several transaction properties. First one is isolation property. That means transactions appears to execute in isolation or independently from other transactions. Second one is atomicity property. This property ensures that either the transaction must be executed completely or none. So that's all for this video. We will continue this in the next video. Thank you.